What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Cesar with Cesar Gets Crypto, and we are talking about three different cryptos today. We're going to be talking about Solana, first and foremost, for Mr. Eric, I honor King Jesus, as he likes to be called, uh, ENS for Mr. Chocolate Cookie, or just Chocolate Cookie, and Bonk for TF. TF, I don't know if you're a Mr. or a Mrs., but you, my friend, requested Bonk. We're going to finish it up with that. So without any further ado, guys, we're going to do Solana, ENS, and Bonk. Let's get into it. Bonk, Bonk, man. What a funny name. What a, like, what a, I love crypto, man. Um, let's see here. Like, it doesn't stand for anything. It's just Bonk. It's bonkers, right? Um, top to bottom here on Solana. This, is this right? This is on Coinbase. I don't think that's the most historical data, though, is it? There we go. A little bit more. I'm okay with that. So let's see. Not that we really need this back here, but anyways, um, you know, in references to if we drop, maybe this will help back here. But uh, top to bottom, 786, deep retracement. Beautiful to see, man. Like you found a little bit of turbulence here at your 618, but not really. Like you didn't, you pulled back, sure, a little bit, but really you just continued to climb, right? You consolidated here and then continued to climb. I do expect that you would see prices come back down to the screen line here on the weekly. The screen line, what is it, by the way? I know I know a lot of you probably already know it, but for those of you who, who are unaware, um, it's the 123 moving average, and that is priced at about $63.83. I would expect that we go back down there, which would take us a little bit below the 618. We probably get a wick down there and then close above the 618 would be my guess. So we probably close the week that takes us down there or weeks that take us down there, um, but close above 68.76 would be my guess. Price is moving up. We're on Solana USDT on Binance. This is the biggest exchange in the world for cryptocurrency as far as volume goes. And I mean, it is, it's just the biggest exchange for crypto. Um, so I would think that seeing the volume decrease as we're building up does signal that we are probably losing a bit of momentum. I do think this is the top, finding resistance at the 786. It's, it's pretty common, especially in crypto, man. It's pretty common, but look at this, man. Found 382 resistance, 236 support. No wonder you shot all the way up here. It's very, very common uh, whenever you see these deeper chasements to find support on your 618. And again, just because you go a little bit below it doesn't mean you can't come back up that same week and close above it. Don't get concerned if days close below it. It wouldn't be ideal, but it's not a deal breaker. You know, um, Really, what you'd, what you'd not want to see is a week close below it. And even then, even if a week does close below it being the 618, right, around $68.76, if the next week can get above it and close above it, then it's like a fake out. It's like, a, who cares? You know what I mean? Um, and yeah, although I would expect something just like this to happen, but to the downside, right? Where you wick a little bit above it and then close uh, above the 618, or in this case, below the 786. But I think we're on the way down right now, personally. You were overbought, man. You were overbought for a long time, right? You went up to basically 90. Solana had a beautiful move, right? Like unexpected, kind of expected. You know, I was definitely calling for it to move up here. I didn't expect it to go all the way up here, though, man. Or maybe I did. I don't know. Go go watch my videos. I don't. I probably would have called for it to stop around here, or maybe here would have been my guess. This would have been like the top. I don't. I don't know if I if I called for that. Honestly, I can't. I can't remember. I knowing myself. I probably would have called for resistance at the 618 whenever we were down here, but but enough of that. Who cares? Um, what I'm really trying to say is I do think we're going lower. We were overbought. Now we're not overbought. If you look at the overall structure in this weekly RSI, you've got this nice kind of like ascending channel here, right? It wouldn't be crazy if you came back to the bottom of it. You could come all the way down to like the 50 area, whatever, bounce off of that, and then continue to move up. Those lines aren't perfectly straight, so if you were to come down to like the 50, I feel like that does line up pretty well and that that's kind of curved again the line's not perfectly straight but more or less you see what i'm trying to say higher lows that's probably what we're getting ready to form right now is a uh, a higher low sorry i had something on my on my screen there um so that's solana likely on its way down yeah the daily crashing below the 50 here yeah um yeah it, it looks like it's rolling over man it does Mm-hmm. probably going down you got this wick to the upside. What wicked got candlesticked? I love that saying. I forget who, what his name is that made that up, but some guy in BitBoy, the piano man, whatever his name was, with the cat named Scaramucci's. Um, yeah, I think you're going down. You probably see this go into the oversold zone. It'll come back up, and then on the second attempt into the oversold zone or something like that, you probably find your low. Um, look at this. Your green line all the way right now is at about $50. Wouldn't it be crazy? 
if at some point next week you just dropped ass like really hard, um, pardon my language. I'm, I'm trying to watch it. That to me is not a bad word, but I am, I am trying to watch in inspiration to you specifically, Eric, I am trying to watch it because I know, I know people have their kids watching this stuff. I'm not trying to be a bad influence. Um, it gets me excited that there's kids that, that want to watch this stuff or that there's parents that want their kids to learn this stuff. That's exciting. So if all I have to do is just keep my mouth, uh, behaved, then, then so be it. I will. But, uh, anyways, I think it's going lower. I, I feel very confident in in that it probably will go around that uh, sixty eight dollar level. Was it below the sixty eight dollar level to the one two three, which is at about sixty three eighty three? But as the weeks come on, that that can change. So, but it's been pretty neutral. So I, I bet you do. You go around like sixty four bucks. That's that's my general genuine impression. So that's Solana. Let's move on from there. Going down. Uh, ENS. ENS Ethereum name service. Which one has the most data? Coinbase is fine. As is Binance. Do they have a USDT on it? Yes, they do. We'll use Binance. A lot of volume here. Nothing but downside. Kind of a nice like accumulation phase, it looks like to me. Like this overall area here looks like a nice accumulation zone. You can go lower. Man, I might have to sneeze. Nope. I want to sneeze. I'm not one of those people that if I feel a sneeze, I fight it off. I think you people are weird, whoever you are. Um, no offense, it's just, you know, I like my weirdos. But personally, if I feel a sneeze, I'm proud of it. I'm like, let's get this sneeze on the way, but it it went away. Um, but back to the task at hand here. From top, relative high, to relative low, went all the way up to the 786. It's, it's kind of hard to say, man, because this is such a new chart. I bet, you know, you're probably range bound. You look like you're making your way up toward like this more or less like moderate area of resistance right here. At about 17 bucks, maybe you even find resistance up here. Maybe you go all the way up here, you know, something like that. Uh, Mr. Chocolate, you you yourself said that I like to give three price uh, targets. You know, you've noticed that in me, and that's that's what you get right there, man. Probably at a minimum, and look at that, you already hit that there. So you, if you climb up, I bet you would see potentially that again for like a double top, or you could go a little bit higher. Actually, with this look, I would think you do go a little bit higher. But um, to be fair. Look at that. Lower low on the daily. Higher lows here. Hidden bullish divergence. I, I do bet you go up. But to be fair, you know, if if and when, I very much am convinced that the Bitcoin ETFs are going to get denied. Um, maybe all of them get denied. Maybe just one or two of them get denied. I think there's only two that are due by the 10th, so that does leave room for the other ones to get pushed back. But if two of them get denied, they, they might just deny all of them. Um, but regardless of what happens, I would assume that we do see some kind of sell the news event, um, especially if it's the, the negative news. By the way, guys, if the ETFs, I say this all the time, but if the ETFs get denied, which I very much do believe they are, I say if, but in my heart and head, I, I'm, I'm thinking when um, they get denied. Uh, it's not going to be a bad thing for crypto. We don't need the ETFs. We really don't. And I think when they get approved, it'll actually be bad. That'll probably be toward the end of the market that they get approved. And that'll that'll be a catalyst to start the bear market. But that's just a theory at this point. Time will tell. We'll see if that happens. But all in all, I think this thing wants to move up back to the, uh, the TA here. Looking at the four hour. Yeah, you've got hidden bullish divergence. You're in an area where you've bounced not just once here, but twice over here, a couple times over here. Yeah. Um, you could go a little bit lower. It is possible you got the green line down here. Um, oh, Bitcoin Cash is dropping apparently. Uh, just a little bit, right? Uh, I'm sure a lot of things are going to drop in the next week. I'm sure we're going to see a big dump. And that's the one thing that's holding me back from thinking that you could go up um, here. But with the way that the chart looks, ETF news, you know, be forgotten, be whatever. Um, I would think that this does continue to grow. But if Bitcoin drops, if Ethereum drops, this, this is this in itself might drop as well. But not all cryptos run in unison with, with uh, the big dogs. Some of them do do their own things. Is this one that, that's doing its own thing? Maybe. It is possible. Um, I do want to look real quick. I want to look back at this uh, FIB. Look back at it. Double bottom. Nice, man. Right up, right up to the 786. What are you doing on the daily? Came back down to the 0.5. I, you know, that's kind of not ideal. You broke below the 618 for a couple days now. That does leave room actually to go down to the uh, $10 level. You're at about $12. Still with the idea that you could go back up again, but 
it's not common to bounce off the 0.5 though. You do look like you're finding significance on it now. Let's see how it works out. Let's see how it works out. I don't know. If you break below this line, if you close below this, probably if you close below this actually, but below, below that low there, I would think you go to about $10, probably. And then from there we can talk about upside. Or maybe you do, maybe you do go lower. But I don't think that you're going to, uh, it's, it's hard to say. I know that this hasn't been the easiest like conversation to have about this, right? I'm like, it could go up, it could go down. I'm pretty sure it's gonna go up, but there's a solid possibility it could go down. Um, that's just because this news, man, it's, it's going to throw everything off. Like even if it's good news, it's still going to be a sell the news event. Like it's, it's going to throw a lot of things off. Um, it wouldn't be crazy for this thing to, c to come all the way down here, have a higher low and bounce around 850 even, you know. So there's a whole lot of possibilities. But with how the charts look, I genuinely would assume that you're making strides higher being that we're on the weekly, maybe it doesn't happen this week, maybe it happens next week. In the meantime, maybe you do have a little bit of volatility, but I think you are working your way up above this high, probably to the highs of this range, all that to say, in a more concise fashion. So I hope that helped. I hope that wasn't too confusing. Um, if it goes down, of course, that's not my recommendation to sell. It'd be my recommendation to just buy more, but this is not financial advice. Do whatever you want. You're, you know, we're all big boys, big girls here. Um, but I, you know, with how it looks like it's doing, it wouldn't. It really wouldn't surprise me if you did come back down. Actually, I know I was saying ten dollars, but I'd like to adjust that to just a little bit lower than ten dollars, actually. And I want to apologize one more time because I feel like I was all over the place with that analysis. But, but it's kind of you know that's that's kind of how it is sometimes with these new charts, man. It's and, and then especially in conditions like this, like it's not it's not the easiest to uh, to gauge. But I don't think you'll go lower than this. I do think you're going to form a higher low if and when you drop. But. Uh, that's ENS, man. I think it is working its way up, all that to say. So let's let's finish this off with bonk. Bonkers. No. We're not going to use that. Maybe we should just use this one. Bonk. Volume 2.6 mil. Yeah, this one here. Okay. So yeah, you've, you've likely found your top. I think you have found your top. Um, once you close a day below this 236 here, which is at about five zeros, eight, six, four, eight, you're likely going to see a move fairly quickly down to the five zeros, three, eight, two level, um, which is also right around your three, eight, two. Hey, look at that. Three, eight, two, three, eight, two. That's, that's a nice coincidence. There's nothing to that. It's just a happy coincidence. Um, maybe the tr bots, the market makers plant, market makers planned that. Maybe they didn't. Maybe it's just a coincidence. I'll, I'll tack it on to coincidence, but I would think that you would at least go here, if not more probably go to the 618 zone here. Um, how much of a drop would that be from here? Actually, I, I want to measure from the top. 88% drop. Yeah, you, you might hold this 382 level. It's very common to go a little bit below it. You could go to about there get a 90% drop in there. Generally speaking, when you get a 90% drop on anything that you're pretty sure is going to go up, that's a great time to buy, um, getting a huge discount there. But what's crazy about something like this is even there, if you go to the 618, that's still another 65% drop, man. So um, I, I wouldn't be buying here. It might be too late to sell, you know, not financial advice, but you still are above the 236. It, it might not be too late to sell, but uh with stuff like this, you never know what can happen, man. It could very well, before it makes its way down here, it could find support on the 236, come back up for a double top, and then work its way down. You never know. So in that sense, it might be too late to sell. All in all, I would recommend, and again, not financial advice, but just my genuine opinion would be that it's probably wise to just sit on your hands. If it goes lower, buy more. Don't sell. You know, you miss the time to sell, probably. Um, Unless you bought it recently, then then maybe get out of it and just wait. That that would be my genuine opinion. But, but let's see, do I have? I don't have. Let's see here. I don't know how I don't have an RSI on this thing. Relative strength index. Come on now. Ten. I like to set it to ten. You can set it to whatever you want. It's not. It, I mean, I don't know. I say it's not that big of a deal, but to me it is. But it's it's really not. But it's just a preference, you know. Um, 
yeah, weekly looks like it, it wants to pull back a little bit more. Daily showing weakness. You're probably going to see your real drop here soon, man. Any any of these days here, they're nothing compared to what you're about to see. Probably in the coming week, probably. If you find a bounce here, it wouldn't be too weird. Um, that might put the drop off another week. But with the impending ETF news, I, it might be next week, really. You see some of your strongest moves when you're in the overbought zone. You see some of your strongest moves to the downside when you're in the oversold zone. So uh, that's why it's the relative strength index, right? Up here, overbought equals strong to the upside. Oversold, strong to the downside or weak, you know? So yeah, probably going down. Probably going down on all of them, honestly. I think ENS is the more optimistic looking one, the more like relative, like near term time, uh, time frames. But even that one could have a, a sizable drop before it continues to go up but it does look like it's making strides higher so i don't really have anything else to say if you guys like the video hit that thumbs up subscribe if you'd like to see more i appreciate all of you for coming thank you very much and i will see you on the next one take care good night bye bye good day wherever you are